So I have a question for you. Say I'm an uh, aspiring strength coach coming out of uh, my degree and I'm really excited to maybe work in the minor leagues and maybe have dreams and aspirations to go to the major leagues. If you're the head guy, what are you looking for? Well, number one, uh, Major League Baseball has a minimum prerequisite and so you know you have to have a degree and you have to be certified by the NSCA. Okay. So assuming you've got those, those, those things. The thing that I'm looking for is I'm looking for the same thing in a strength coach that I'm looking for in a player. Mm -hmm. you know, I want that person that is high energy, mm -hmm. uh, the person that is willing to take direction because mm -hmm. you don't know everything when, mm -hmm. you, when you walk through. And I'm looking for that person that is inquisitive. He asks a lot of questions, you know, they want to learn. Mm -hmm. And um, then after that, you know, I'm looking for somebody that has experience. You know, I want somebody that can do it. Yep. And my philosophy has always been, if you can't do it, you shouldn't attempt to teach it. Love it. Because you're just going to embarrass yourself and the players are going to look at you kind of funny, you know. Yeah, and that's a very good point because I think a lot of people, you know, it, we always talk about this industry is kind of like who you know, but however that first job, you've got to get your foot in the door some way, shape, or form. And to me, I always tend to look at the resumes a little bit longer if I'm hiring somebody based on persistency. How persistent were they? Were, you know, did they call me? Did they follow up? Did they have a resume and a cover letter? Like how professional were they and were they persistent at knocking down my door?